morning fellow ambazonian testing testing this one our new sound system for our daily podcast today na number 20 day thursday of this month of april 2023 my name na kapo daniel una own countryman mr no koni ambazonian fbi and i'm come again once more with our daily podcast a program where they bring una meaningful information the truth fact based analysis for help we as we work out for this journey to our freedom to the independence of ambazonia good people of ambazonia today's title for our podcast na patriotism patriot but first we begin for inside the great state of manu where the republic du cameroon their occupation terrorist forces they ran launch an attack under the cover of night for inside the great state of manu killing one of ambazonia bravest in the great state of manu general diki iran for for inside manu where they come na for the e house where they stay for day the attack it and kill it for day inside the great state of manu based on my work with many of the forces who are working in manu and uh, most of them uh, the they have allegiance are very fluid and uh, most of them are still staying in their homes and i want to advise the forces in manu that during war a soldier can never live in your home that is why we say that every boy or the boys are in the bushes you must abandon your home abandon your family and move into the bush any house where a soldier can lay the head should be a safe house and i'm calling on the forces in manu to get in contact with me to provide them advice on how to survive during a war period it is a very very sad day that we have lost a very big general in manu general diki who have always stood for the people there and have always been uh, having a listening ear it's unfortunate the formation in manu the tribalism have really been a big hindrance for our forces who operate in an, in the great state of manu and uh, may he rest in power and we will continue to work with all forces to make sure that the gorilla tactics are fully implemented in bamenda we had a, a flash point with la republic du cameroon in tamanfeng and uh, details are still emerging of uh, what happened in in tamanfeng our prayers for all our soldiers that God should continue to strengthen them and give them victory over the the enemy why in atlantic state four cameroon occupation forces were neutralized around guti right to bakebe where ambazonian forces were on the offensive and the operations completely blocked that stretch of road and uh, we are very happy the, the checkpoint that was there which was very famous for for intimidating harassing our women stopping vehicles for a long period of hours and collecting bribes from our people have been dislodged by ambazonian brave heroes why cameroon have largely abandoned their project to reinsect their administrators around liberated areas in ambazonia they have focused their attention to projects within areas where they control such projects should be seen right now by all ambazonian forces as a, as a national security issue as they are being used actively for propaganda in the so called reconstruction uh, program by the occupation forces some of these projects are largely been done by our bamelike brothers who have been brought in from bafusam babaju area to come and supply labors in these uh, projects and we must look for active way to stop anything that is being used for propaganda and used to target the mind and heart of our people by the occupation administration of la republic to cameroon and fellow ambazonians as today topic it be titled patriotism a patriot this is one of the right up shared in kunta kinte kunta kinte 360 chat group have been an informative and uh, uh, a platform for the no connect talk show that have continued to be used for pollings and and stuff like that and this writer who is from the great state of menchum right as follow who is a patriot someone may also ask what is patriot a patriot is someone 
who loves their country deeply and is devoted in its well-being and prosperity. Here are some of the key characteristics of a patriot love for the country. A patriot has a deep and abiding love for their country, its people, its culture, and its heritage. Loyalty. A patriot is loyal to their country and the institutions and will defend it against all threats foreign and domestic. Courage. A patriot is willing to stand up for their country and its value, even in the face of adverse or danger. Dedication. A patriot is dedicated to the betterment of their country and is willing to work hard to make it a better place. Respect for others. A patriot respects the right and freedom of others, regardless of their race, religion, and political beliefs. Responsibility. A patriot understands that they have a responsibility to contribute to the well-being of their country and to be a good citizen. Awareness. A patriot is aware of the challenges facing their country and is committed to finding solution to those challenges. Tolerance. A patriot is tolerant of adverse views and opinions and recognizes that differences can enrich the fabric of the country. Pride. A patriot takes pride in their country's accomplishment, achievement, and works to uphold and strengthen its reputation. Overall, a patriot is someone who works tirelessly to make their country a better place and who is committed to preserving its value, tradition, and a way of life. This is my opinion, signed Ambassador 007. Fellow Ambazonians, these wordings are principles that have embodied what I represent for Ambazonia. I, Capo Daniel, I am a patriot and I have pledged my allegiance to Ambazonia, to our people, to our country, and the betterment of the people of Ambazonia and the preservance and securing of our public interests. A patriot indeed is what we need and we want all Ambazonians to be a patriot, fearless, bold, unafraid when it comes to national interests and the people's interests of Ambazonia. Fellow Ambazonians, it is very sad when I look back in what is happening in our liberation struggle. Recently, people have been threatened by members, official members of the AEGOFC, top officials threatening individuals on the ground for standing up for Capo Daniel and the principle for which Capo Daniel have stand for. A lot of people may wonder, but why will Capo Daniel resign in the first place? Resigning is not a thing of Ambazonia. Why will Capo Daniel go and create his own organization and his own force? He has become like every other person, coming out from a group and creating his own group. I want our people to be rest assured. Decisions I made are all out of patriotism. People may not understand the difference between a communal organization and a communal and a non-communal organization. It was very important that I don't abandon our struggle because I am personally responsible for this struggle. I have commanded soldiers to war. I have put up program, recruit soldiers and send them to war. I have assumed the responsibility to lead our war effort to free Ambazonia. And I am responsible and I will never negate my responsibility to our country and our liberation war. So when I resign, I immediately take up organization and things that I have been doing even before I joined the AEG of C. Forces that were under me, that were ongoing and active, I could not abandon them and I must structure them and I must account to our people and inform them of my activity even after I resign. It could have been the worst if the main person, your main activist, the most credible voice for Ambazonia, just suddenly resign and disappear in thin air or just stay in a position even when I know that things were not going on well. I want to tell our people that the threats that have been coming from of C officials to people who are on the ground, critical people in our defense structure, and to even activists who have been donating money for the of C because they believe in Capo Daniel. Some of these guys, you know, have been threatened in the UAE, a place where political activities are banned. Ambazonians in those countries are afraid of their life. It's a place where you just do the least thing today, the next day you have been repatriated. 
their identity have been exposed on social media because they are posting things that are pro Capo Daniel. What have the egg of C become? They have transformed themselves into a political party and even worse. They are showing that there is no difference between them and what we have been criticizing from other groups. It is a sad reality that we must know. I, Capo Daniel, I am the one who told Ambazonians to stand behind Dr. Cho, to stand behind the egg of C. And I gave reasons why. Because they were the only organization that upholds certain principles that I believe are crucial for us to win this war. Because for us to win this war, we must uphold principles of collectivity. I have always preached that all my life. You cannot win if you are not selfless. We can only win a liberation by selfless individuals who are willing to give their all, including their own ego, and lay their life on the ground for their own country and the betterment of their people. Just as the writer write about patriotism, it takes only patriots to liberate a country. Just like the Bible will say, only light can drive out darkness. We will not defeat Cameroon with corruption, with abuses, like Cameroon is using against us. We will defeat the very purpose and the spirit of our liberation struggle and we will go nowhere. But I believe we will go somewhere and we will attain our freedom if we surmount all these hurdles. Remember, fellow Ambazonians, when Kapo, when Sako Ekome launched my trip to Boya, after he launched it on Eric Tatos, his touch, the next person that advertised my trip to Boya was me, Kapo Daniel, because I was seen as an individual who was fair and who was truthful and honest and have the credibility. I brought Sako Ikome in my platform. My face was on my trip to Boya. And we advertised it and I promised the Ambazonian people that this is going to bring us freedom and this man is credible. I listened to him. I made sure I did my homework. He identified forces that he was counting on and the projects that he hopes 2 million will take Ambazonia to freedom within a couple of months. I doubted the timeline, but I believe he had a strategy and the forces in place and I brought him and I advertised him. Sooner or later, I discover that Sako had put himself on salary, create a bank account where money was transferred directly into his hands without any accountability. Not only that, that soldiers that money was supposed to go to that he had told me he was relying on were actually being under attack, some of them dying and crying that they have no money to purchase bullet, net, let alone having conversation with Sako Ikome. I could not stay back and be silenced. I looked into Sako's private life and the information he was giving me, the answers were all against reality. I talked to Iringwa, Madame Iringwa, which I respected so much. She lied to my face in the face of the blood of our people. I could not ignore the dying of our soldiers and I know if things went that way and I stayed quiet, we are going to lose. And when I came out and I called Sako a con man, Ambazonians almost told me to death. People called me and begged me that for the sake of unity, you should have just stayed quiet or just, just stay you quiet. Don't say anything. You cannot call somebody we have respect as, as a, a con man. What about your reputation? Are you not the person who campaigned for my trip to Boya? And I told them I have a responsibility having campaigned for my trip to Boya. If I see a danger, to tell you because if I stay quiet, we will not arrive in Boya. Indeed, today the same people are saying, where is my trip to Boya? That plane will be going for Yaoundé. Or let alone maybe for Maryland. Today, my country people, the danger I saw in the decisions that were made by the Egg of Sea and the President Dr. Cho Ayaba himself was something that was drifting and had caused us physical loss in Ambazonia. Imagine the thousands of prisoners whose names have been included in the list and they were aware that they are coming out of prison. Imagine our people who are suffering. If you are not in touch with Ground Zero, you know, you don't know what I mean that our people are suffering. Imagine the relief they could have had. Imagine all the generals that have we have lined up and educate them and gather research work that La Republic is going to get into a ceasefire where they will withdraw to their barracks. Only for a decision to be taken not to secure what we had already have in our hand. And at the end of the day, what was the reason? Dr. Cho Ayaba himself tell me, Kapo Daniel, you know, there have been discussions within the organization that you have amassed so much power. 
and I say Jesus Christ. So you were taking decision, rejecting positions that I was insisting. Because people who were feeding your ego by probably reflecting what you want or what you had discussed with them are concerned that Capo Daniel will become strong. No doubt. They refused me from even taking picture with my own people. Our people in Canada prepared themselves, brought in cameras, traveled from long distance to come and meet finally the Capo Daniel. And a ban was put. Do not even take a picture in Canada because they don't want people to see Capo Daniel, that man on the street, to be seen as a leader. Something that have not even crossed my mind. Decisions were taken to lose and keep our people in prison. For sick, for sick, I say, they don't want to keep Mr. Mani shine past. What I, what, how do you even, how can I even comprehend this type of decision? We insisted. We insisted and even become irritating to the international community. International partners called and begged for us to take the right decision. We lose everything. Even when we had secured the most important thing, we had secured a commitment that includes independence and nothing else should have mattered. Not even the fear that the Chris Anu and the Sako are going to blackmail us that we have sale Ambazonia because we know we have secured something that was great. And if Dr. Cho Ayaba take a decision against the public interest and I protest, I insisted, we fought everybody. I mean, everybody was unanimous. And you take a decision simply because you don't want Capo Daniel to stand in front. They have been fighting me in every way and I stay quiet. Even the podcast I put out there every day for our people. You tell me, stop putting podcasts because you are more afraid that Capo Daniel is gathering power. I'm going to become a one man, one point uh, failure for Ambazonia. Today you are crossing the line, threatening people, not because they, you, you, you have any evidence or anything to believe that these people are working for La Republic or have compromised the struggle, but because they have stand on their own to fight for Ambazonia. Difference in opinion. Once you violate this principle of patriotism, you are going nowhere. We cannot win if we follow this direction. If I came out of the egg of sea and was continuing to fight for Ambazonia, thinking that the leadership is going to reflect on their wrong decisions and come back in line, and they are doubling in doing exactly what Sako did, because when we exposed Sako, he did not stop. He doubled down on it, banning groups, declaring a civil war in Ambazonia. If today anybody is willing to kill another soldier because you don't join their group, not because the soldier is compromised, but because you don't join my group, you have lost your way and that way can never lead us to freedom. I, Capo Daniel, I gave the Ambazonian people hope for the egg of sea. I came to tell you that this organization was principle driven. If I see that the same organization is not, I cannot stay there. It's not possible. It's not in my nature to pretend to go along. We must face the inconvenient truth. We must. Because if we are blind, we will be late to the gallow. Everybody can make mistake. People assume responsibilities of their mistake. Nobody is perfect, but there are principles that can never be imperfect. The principle of patriotism. We must always be patriot at every twist and turn, putting Ambazonia first. Once we do not, then we are fighting for ourselves, our positions, fighting for groups and leaders, not the country. Yes, the egg of sea had been the most effective liberation movement not because they are better in being effective managers or anything is because they uphold those principles at that moment but i've realized even in upholding those principles at the bottom of it it was for individual career ahead of national interest and they have clearly demonstrated that perhaps they were upholding those principles because they wanted to fool me capo daniel to bring in my big guns my credibility to push the egg of c and the adf not for Ambazonia, but for individuals. But one thing our people must know, the soldiers on the ground are the most wisest and the most selfless people I have ever met. I've never met any general who is as smart as General Ifang. A general who provides weapons to every soldier, 
without even consulting any political leadership. General Efang and all the ADF generals. When I cafe the day up, may we continue for be selfless because I have never seen an ADF general, an ADF soldier attack another general for the mere purpose that he does not belong to his group. It has never happened. That's why I've stood with them and I'll still tell our people the leadership on the ground of the ADF is solid. It's unshakable. But the egg of sea leadership in the diaspora, I can tell you, my friend, I'm afraid to say, have de demonstrated beyond reasonable doubt that they are no different from the other groups. If they don't change, if they don't realize their mistakes, if they continue to try to threaten individuals in the diaspora, not because they think that they have joined La Republic, or if for them joining La Republic means not being in Egg of Sea, they have lost their mind. I know majority of the people who are especially in the organizations are selfless individuals because they talk to me every day. If you are in the Egg of Sea, know that you have a responsibility to the principle that we have believed in that we have stood for and if those principles do not abide and you decide to stay quiet know that you are no different from the people of the circle who end up being used as a 40-man squad of the white and blue army if you accept on patriotic dictatorship today then you have let down ambazonia you have put our cause in peril but I believe because of all those who have spoken to me and the vast majority of the people that I know that are there are all patriots. But we know those ones who are yes sir men have taken hold of the organization or let me say of the, the leadership, not the organization because for the most part, the other functioning part of the organization, all of them are solid except just the leadership and a few click of people that surround the leadership the yes are men and it's very pathetic it's very pitiful that these are people i know i love so much and i've seen them fight fierce fiercely for our country given their all were you doing all those things for an individual or for a principle do you now think that if you compromise those principles that organization will still do the same thing that it was doing before no it will not it will not it's just a matter of time the moment when a leader is now more concerned about people's popularity, people standing in front. They are running up and down to run and come and be the one to be in front and sign. Running up and down to become the new, not even, I'm not talking this one, not pertaining to the spokesman, fighting to come and be the one to publish things, thinking that Capo Daniel was, pop, was popular because I was publishing things. No, I am who I am because of the principle I stand for and I'm willing to defend because I'm a patriot. People do not listen to me because I share information. They listen to me because they know I'm a patriot and I've always demonstrated that patriotism above myself. That is why I take the stance I did and their behavior have just proven that I was absolutely right. Because if I was staying there, the opportunities that we had lost, I hope I believe we can get them back but we will not get them back behaving in the same way we are doing acting in the same way we are doing decisions when i look at those decisions again i weep from i cry for ambazonia i say we damn suffer we damn suffer indeed but she shake in no day hope is alive if you can hear my voice upholding this principle willing to take the bullets for you, for the public interest, then hope is alive. I will never abandon my responsibility to lead us through until we found that birth certificate of the former British Southern Cameroon. We must find our birth certificate. We must get back our pride, our identity, and we will win. If you can hear me today, then be sure that there is a person that upholds those principles and that will hold that life for Ambazonia to get to our promised land. Even Israel itself was one damned by God. Israel soldiers who was charging and being so charged that we must go to war with the enemy. When one of them was collecting spoils that God had forbidden, 
led to the death of thousands of soldiers who did not listen to the word of the prophet of the prophet listen carefully judge for yourself if capo daniel is indeed wrong take that decision if capo daniel is indeed right then listen to my voice and follow my voice there are things we must do to free ambazonia there are things if we do not do ambazonia will be damned i know because this is an god ordained struggle a lot of people think that we must win no we can lose we can lose as a matter of fact we will lose this war if we do not do the right thing for ambazonia we must do the right thing through righteous means only light can chase away darkness even if you are a prophet you disobey the principles of patriotism you will be a biggest liability to your people than even the enemy itself capo daniel looking out for you signing off